everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back at it again with more fast food figures. This week, we take a look at the Garfield Happy Meal figure sets from 1988. Garfield is a comic strip character created by Jim Davis in 1976. It follows the lives of Garfield, the fat, lasagna-loving, Monday-hating cat, his owner John, and Odie the dog. Other characters get thrown into the mix over the years, but the iconic orange cat has remained popular for over 40 years. In 1988, Garfield's popularity was at a high as the Saturday morning cartoon series Garfield and Friends would debut, featuring the adventures of Garfield and Friends. The show would air for six seasons and then in syndication for years after. It was at this time that Garfield made his Happy Meal debut in a four-figure set featuring Garfield in various costumes and different vehicles. Much like the Muppet Babies figures, these are made from sturdy PVC and are of a high quality. The sculpts are interesting enough, but it's kind of weird to see Garfield so active. In the strips, he generally snoozes the day away in his bed, only to be roused by the promise of lasagna or to throw shade at that dork John. Honestly, Garfield is probably one of the most relatable comic strip characters there is. Anyway, set one has got Garfield on a scooter. Notice how he's got shorts and a tank top on here? Are we supposed to infer that every other time we've seen Garfield otherwise he's been nude? Salacious! Set 2 has got Garfield in more of a safari getup with no pants. This brings up an issue I have with cartoon animals. Either give them clothes or don't. But don't go halfway. It just looks like he's driving around with his dick out. Set 3 has got Garf fully clothed again on a motorcycle with Odie the dog in the sidecar. And set 4 is Garfield pantsless again on a skateboard. He's got a helmet on, safety first I guess. Anyhow, I got all four of these half-naked Garfs on the go, so let's take a look at the Garfield Happy Meal toys from 1988. Alright, so here is Garfield on a scooter. Um, here he is in all his Garfieldy glory on a scooter. Here's the problem with this scooter. Um, it's got like a little thing on it so that it'll stand up straight so you don't have to worry about it tipping over to one side but it doesn't roll very well because of this thing in the fucking middle of it. So basically it's just made to stand there and look fucking pretty. Also the figure, which is a nice solid PVC figure um, with the little peg hole on the foot is really just made to be put in that, on that vehicle. Otherwise he just looks kind of weird. He's like doing like, you know, some sort of fucking calisthenics or yoga or something, which hey, maybe fucking, you know, things come around again and, and there we go. Now he's like a modern fucking Garfield doing yoga. Um, not that you, you would care to see Garfield doing yoga, not that it would be in character for Garfield to be doing such things. He is a fat, lazy cat um, that likes to eat lasagna. I don't know why he's uh, wearing these neon colored athletic clothes and riding around on uh, on scooters. But hey, fuck it, there's Garfield on a scooter and he looks pretty good, honestly. It's a good sculpt and a good paint job and, and you know, I don't mind it, it's all right. All right, and look out motherfuckers because here comes Garfield in a Jeep. Um, or a buggy, or a fucking whatever you'd like to call it. He hasn't really fucking fitted it all that well, honestly. It looks like it was made for some other kind of figure. He, they did uh, pose the hand to be as if he was on the uh, steering wheel there. Um, and, and he looks all right. And here's my big problem with these things. It's like, look, he's just driving around with his fucking pants off like a pervert. Oh, wait a minute. Was he supposed to... Why is there a peg there? Why is there a peg inside the... Okay. Oh, all right, you put his feet on the peg. I thought maybe he had a peg in his ass or something, a peg hole, and you shove the thing up his ass, but nope. You put that right there where the feet go, and there he is. It's Garfield in a car. All right, look at this. Surf's up, uh, skateboard's up. There it is. I don't know what the, what the, the equivalent expression would be, um, but here it is. It's Garfield on a skateboard wearing knee pads and a helmet and a Hawaiian shirt and no fucking pants. Um, 
if you know, the more clothes that you put on a cartoon character or a cartoon animal without putting all the clothes on it, the, the more naked they look. I mean, come on. Come on, look at that. That's, come on. Anyway, I mean, and look at this, look at his face. He, he's, he's gone mad. I mean, obviously he's gone mad. He's just pantsless on a skateboard. And it's more of an old school looking skateboard. One of those old, uh, the hard plastic ones, if you remember from the early 80s. Um, the ones that people used to ride on in pools and shit before the the modern the modern boards that are they're all just a sort of an oval shape that we'd be, be more familiar with now. Um, these things had a flat end, more of a rocket shape um, to them. But yeah, it's got the yellow wheels. It's you know and not a bad looking figure. He looks pretty cool with the exception of the fact that his his dick is out. But hey, he's on a skateboard and. and they, you can't go wrong when you put a character on a skateboard. It's got a skateboard, it's got a peg, fucking, I think the other figure can fit on there in the skateboard, right? Look at this, got the peg on there, oh look at this. Now this figure, the figure with all the clothes on, you know, he's on the skateboard. Hey, so any figure with a peg, maybe even, oh, hold on. Oh, look at this, it's, it's Fozzie Bear on the skateboard now. And then there's, there's Kermit on the skateboard. <laughs> now Kermit can ride on this skateboard. Um, yeah, so, you know, if you if you saved your, your Happy Meal toys over the years, they're, they're multi-compatible. And I and I do believe that uh, Miss Piggy and Gonzo would fit in the car and, uh, and, and on our next piece. It, it doesn't roll very well for some reason. Um, I don't know why, I mean, it's got wheels. Um, I, I don't know why it doesn't roll very well, but here it is. It is Garfield with Odie the dog on, uh, on on a motorcycle. This is kind of a bad display, though, because you want to display it with Garfield facing out, right? But if you if you do, um, you're missing Odie. And if you you face Odie, then Garfield's looking off into fucking God knows where. Um, so yeah, it's it's all right. These aren't bad figures necessarily. They aren't bad. They, they have nice paint jobs. They are very creative. Um, but at the same time, we're putting weird looking clothes. I mean, Odie's not wearing fucking clothes. Are we supposed to believe that Odie's fucking naked? Odie's just in there fucking jacking off doing what it like fuck some sex pervert. That's Garfield on a motorcycle. All right, so at the end of the day, uh, the Garfield sets from 1988 here, they're nice, sturdy PVC figures. You're not gonna break them. You're not gonna be able to, to tear them apart and choke on the small pieces. Um, the, the, the vehicles that they come with are of a high quality. They work really well with the exception of this weird scooter that has the little stoppy thing on the bottom, um, but they're made for display. I mean, these little figures are what a lot of people were doing when they were collecting them back in the 80s. Uh, these PVC figures, you get the, the shelf with the little squares on it, and you put a figure each in these little things. And uh, these would fit perfectly in with any collection as far as that goes. And you can also, you know what, you can play with these too because they come with some great little uh, vehicles to go with. And it's Garfield. I mean, who doesn't fucking like Garfield? I like Garfield. He's awesome. So that's the Garfield McDonald's Happy Meal figures from 1988.